So here is our graph of cosine. And we realize that anywhere that cosine is zero, that would make secant undefined, giving us a vertical asymptote. Then, anywhere that cosine is positive one, one over one is one, so secant shares that value. All the max points are shared, and similarly, similarly all the min points are shared. And that gives us a graph like this for secant. And we should see that secant looks very similar to cosecant. It's simply moved horizontally by a quarter of a period. Just like sine and cosine are similar, they're only moved a quarter of a period. And then tangent and cotangent, again, very similar, except these are reflections of each other and shifted horizontally. So remember, tangent starts in the middle, cotangent starts on the right side at the top, left side at the bottom. Okay, let's try some graphing. So given the following graph, or given the equation, come up with the graph. And you should be able to do this because now you know the default graphs for all trig six trig functions. You also know from an earlier section how to pull out the amplitude, the vertical shift, the period, and the horizontal shift. Well, let's look at this tangent. And let's go ahead and put some axes on our graph. You know we have a baseline at 1. We then know that the period is going to be 2 pi divided by pi, which is just 2. So I'll stretch it all the way out to 2. And we have a shift of negative pi fourths, so we're shifting right by 1 eighth of a period because negative pi fourths is one eighth of a circle. Well, lucky for me, I went ahead and divided my period among eight squares. So let's see, tangent usually starts on the baseline. So we're gonna shift it one square to the right. We can look back up at our default tangent. Let's see, looks like we get vertical asymptotes every half a period. So we're going to get vertical asymptote, vertical asymptote, and vertical asymptote. The vertical asymptotes are shifted as well. And then we just sketch our graph. All of the points that are on the baseline are half a period away. All the vertical asymptotes are half a period away. That's it. Try this next one on your own first, and then resume the video to check your solution with mine.